So for the first DIY, I'm using the little blocks from Dollar Tree as well as this little cute wood crate and mini wax wood finish in the color Puritan Pine. And these little chalkboard tags in heart shape, pack of four. And some beautiful little roses that Dollar Tree came out with this year. So I'm going to go ahead and start with staining the little wood box using a rag and just going against the grain or with the grain better said got to do the same thing for the little cubes which are going to be used as the legs of my little box container I'm using and here are the chalkboard tags I'm going to use a fine tip chalk marker and write what I wrote either kiss me or I love you correct whatever you want then we got the styrofoam cut it up to size and I used my soap dispenser which is pretty large and it was really snug but now i gotta figure out what size i need to get that styrofoam in there so that i can eventually place my flowers in All right, we got it nice and snug. And now I'm going to get my roses and I'm going to start to cut them down so I can place them inside of the styrofoam. And of course I chose the height a little bit about the same size of the soap dispenser you can choose to put yours a little bit shorter but that's what I wanted something different I also decided to add some of the Spanish moss from Dollar Tree as well and I went ahead and I just placed it around the base of the flowers to hide the styrofoam. Then there is my little heart tag and I forgot to put the legs on. I should have done that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some hot glue and just glue them on to the corners I did have a little fail after the fact they came off because the wood had already been stained so I recommend using E6000 if you already did that staining prior to gluing on the legs we went ahead and placed the soap dispenser back in nice and snug and then the styrofoam with the flowers now it's time to place the hard tag and I was contemplating how I was going to stick it on there and I thought to myself, hey, what about these little dots um, that they also sell at Dollar Tree and I can go ahead and snap it on there and remove it if in case I want to use it for something else, another holiday, I can just place the corresponding one on there. And that's what we came up with. And here's my final. I did end up putting a bow, which I did not have on there prior. I think it gave it the final touch. And here is my soap dispenser in my kitchen. We spent maybe what? One, two, three, maybe five dollars total making this little holder. I enjoyed it. Hope you like it. So for my next 
Valentine's project. I'm getting this older wreath that I have I'd made about a year ago or so and I had to touch it up. I had to fix some of the uh, greenery on it. So I went ahead and I added some greenery to make it a little bit more fuller. So I tried with the glue gun at first and then I end up using some twine to uh, make it a little more sturdier. So I go ahead and fluff this area up as much as possible. And I'm figuring out, okay, you see this is what I mean by using some twine. And I actually bought this wreath at Dollar Tree and I just added some moss to it to make it a little fuller. There are my DIY stickers. I definitely love that pink. So I knew I was gonna end up using that one right off the bat. So I went ahead and chose the one that I wanted. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply some hot glue to it. I was contemplating should I take the sticker off? Not okay. No, I just put glue, and I'm sticking it on to the middle of the bow. Next up, I have these cute foam letters at these picks that they also have a Dollar Tree, and I broke these sticks to make them shorter so that I can place them at the bottom of the wreaths to spell out love since I'm sticking to the whole pink theme there. And here you have it. I love the way it turned out. It's a beautiful wreath. You can always update it with the current holiday and just remove those little things. But this is what I have in my bathroom hanging up. Hope you like it. My next DIY is super easy. I picked up this love sign that was in the gold at Dollar Tree, as well as a pack of these LED lights. They come in pink and in red. I chose pink and of course they use two AA batteries. So I went ahead, placed the batteries, which I also purchased from Dollar Tree. And those were the Kodak pack. I think it was a pack of 10 for a dollar. So that was an amazing deal. I went ahead and placed those in there and then lit them up just to make sure everything's working properly. And then I just started to kind of like work them around the sign. I didn't go in and out of them, but because the wire is so flexible, I did the best I could. But it's not long enough to, you know, wrap around the letters completely, but enough to highlight it. So I love the way the pink looked on the gold and ta-da, very simple two dollars for my next project very very easy i picked up three of the felt hearts in the 12 pack in red white and pink as well as the burlap ribbon or better said the burlap banner packages that they sell in the party section at dollar tree and i missed the recording for some reason don't know what happened but you guys know it's not that hard this is what we did. I got uh, the packages. I opened them up and I used some twine so I can create my banner. So all I did was decide on, you know, how I wanted it, whether red, white and blue. Uh, I'm sorry, red, white and pink or pink, white and red. So I went ahead and just removed one from each color and I alternated the colors. They are kind of sticky onto each other. So once I got those off, I went ahead and I just placed one of the hearts on the burlap. And um, I wasn't sure which one was going to go where, but I did want to include the triangle one as well. And then after I went ahead and made my final decision as to what went where, all I did was get my twine uh, ribbon and made myself a banner hope you guys liked it so cute and quick this is one of my very favorite diys i got this little wood um, heart decor 
and I got the beautiful roses that they're selling at Dollar Tree. I got the ivory color and the peach color, and I was struggling. I wasn't sure what combination should I use, all peach or white and peach or all white, ivory better said. So I was going a little cuckoo there, but I was trying to figure it out. I like the way it looked, but then I felt like it kind of lost the heart with all the same color. So then I said, let me play it by ear. I will outline it with all of the peach. It was looking so pretty with that outline that way. And so I went in with the ivory to fill in. I'm getting super happy as I see how pretty it's looking. And I'm here at my last ivory color one. And it turned out so, so darling. Loved it. One of my favorites for sure. And this is what it looks like. So easy. Maybe total $4 if that.
You remember my bath bombs from a previous video. I got a tea light, the candle holder, and the stand. They're all from Dollar Tree. And all you got to do is just put them together. Just like this. Perfect. The XOs come in a plastic, so you don't have to worry about water and dissolving it from the steam. Put a little bow around that. We're going to put that tea light candle inside the holder. And this is it, guys. Doesn't get any simpler than that. But look how cute. It's just adorable and very simple for us. Next up, we have another Dollar Tree combo DIY. The sheet of paper we got at Hobby Lobby with all of the hearts on it. And the frame is from Dollar Tree. Went ahead and took off the plastic, take the backing off. And all we're needing to do here is just trim the paper to size so we can cover the Trust Your Journey that's on the other side. And most people will glue it, but I did not. So that it'll be easier for me just to come back. And if I want to use that frame again, I can use it on something else. It was pretty easy to put back together and we have a base here. So I wanted to use the XOXO that came in the package of three galvanized words from Dollar Tree and I chose that one, but I wanted to have a little 3D effect. So I got one of the little blocks that come in the package at Dollar Tree. And of course my trusty glue gun, but I wanted to paint one of the hearts first so I can use it for my 3D effect. I ended up using a little combination of three different things to be able to get the color pink that I wanted. And here is what we actually ended up with. So I used the Waverly chalk paint and crimson and the pearl Martha Stewart and the glitter glue in white from Dollar Tree. And then all we did here was just place the block where I was thinking I would put the heart on top of and just glue the little block to the heart itself so we can go ahead and glue it to the picture frame. I have to invest in one of those thinner tip glue guns because as you'll see later, I hate the little strings of glue. But anyways, super cute so far. You can't see the block in the back unless you look for it. But the pink color came out perfect. And I use that crimson red just to give it a little touch of color. And here's what I was talking about with the glue. So I was trying to put little dots so I can glue the XOXO onto the wood heart as such. And there I am picking out the little strings that are left over. But it looks so cute. But I know I'm missing something. So I decide to come back with a little tiny bow and I can actually cover the hole that is in the heart already so you can't see it. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, so adorable. Hope you like it. So last but not least, I really fell in love with these Dollar Tree hearts in wood that come in different shapes and cutouts. And I went ahead and used the same combo as the previous one with the 
Martha Stewart pearl paint as well as the Craft a Square glitter glue from Dollar Tree and the Waverly's chalk paint in color crimson. Here you go. And then I went ahead and I painted the next heart pattern that they have. Really cute. I uh, love, love, love the way that this paint came out. And it has a little bit of shimmer because of the pearl and combo of the glitter glue. I missed filming the other part, but I did get some satin ribbon. And I just tied it along to make a cute little garland for my bedroom. And this is how it turned out. Super simple. It was pretty quick. All it took long was the drying time, but that color was so, so pretty. A tad bit of the crimson. That's all I used. Hope you like it.